hello welcome back to my channel it's so good to have you all back I kind of started without you all I started and then I realized well wait a minute I didn't even press record yet so I have started off with the primer Becca that's what we're using today Becca and um, the foundation color we're using is also by Becca okay so we're just gonna blend this in <laughs> I was so eager to get started oh my goodness that I hadn't even pressed the record button but you haven't missed too much that's all I've done so far prime the face now we're uh, blending in the foundation okay <clears throat> I think this one's gonna be a good one <laughs> We're going to do something just a little bit different. We are going to um, concentrate on the eyes. But this time we're going to do something totally different from the eyes. So bear with me as we go through this. Um, you know, special day was on the calendar. And sometimes you just want to do something a little different. <laughs> sometimes just for yourself, but sometimes just for your mate. Surprise him or her. I don't judge. Surprise him or her, okay? And um, you just want to go with a different look sometimes. So that's what we're going to attempt to do today. A different look. <clears throat> Because, you know, a little surprise, spontaneity is good for the relationship. Okay, as you all know, I use Lori Mercier as my um, translucent powder. Okay, so we put on our, our base for our face. We use Becca products, the primer and the foundation, and followed up with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Now we're concentrating on the eyes. We're just doing a little cleanup around the eyes because we did the eyebrows. Okay, now we're going to go in with our eye primer. And as usual, I'm using Anastasia's Beverly Hill Eye Primer. And we're going to prime the whole entire eye this time. <laughs> the whole entire eye, you guys. That's what we're going to do. Because it's necessary for the look that we're going to achieve today. <laughs> Woo. I'm going to use my finger just to blend this in just a little bit more. Other side as well. And this is necessary for the colors that we're, we're going to use today to make sure that they really pop. They're nice and vibrant. They come through nice and clear. And So this, this eye primer that we're putting on, I'm putting it on a little bit heavier than I've done in the past. So this is this is what we have so far. Oh my goodness. I like to try new things and so 
I like to share those moments when I'm trying new things with you. So, this is brand new for me and for you. So now we're going to put on our base color, which is going to be... Um, we're going to go with a... Uh, a light, very light base color. Almost the same color as we have for the primer. Almost, not quite. We're going to get that pal that color from our Morph palette. Um, we're going to pick this one right here. My, my, my. And in our corner, because actually we're going to do a green eye today. We're going to go with a green eye with a little bit of shimmer. This doesn't seem to be blending right. Let me blend this out just a little bit more. Just one moment. So from our other Morph palette, we're going to start with this color right here. Then we're just going to bring that green around the crease line towards the end leaving just a little center part you know open no green there not yet <laughs> Use our wispy brush here. So this is a soft green, which we're eventually going to build up to a stronger green. So now in the center, we're going to frost that center out let's see what color we're going to use to frost that out with looking at my palettes here and see what we can do here So we have our Tarte palette, Tarte Yes Pro. I'm going to put in the middle kind of a frost color. That was the other reason why we left the center without any green because we want to build up kind of a kind of a like a halo look in the center with a little bit of green in the middle, a little bit green at the end. Alright, so we have that in. <laughs> How we looking so far? Wait a minute. That's some stuff in there. Some of that frost. We got a little fallout from that. Let's just clean that up a little bit. I 
All right, so the next color we're going to go with is a deeper green. And this is from our Urban Decay palette. <laughs> I guess I say she got them all. I don't have them all, but I have quite a few, that's for sure. And we're going to build up the green in the outer part. Yeah, outer part. See how nicely that is? Wow. That's nice. I like that. Just just up to the brow bone, we're going to bring that color up to. Just up to the brow bone. Up to the, like the crease section. I really do like that. The same on this eye. Just up to the brow bone, to the crease rather, but the brow bone is up here. <laughs> Just to the crease section. <clears throat> now I'm going to smoke that, well blend that out just a little bit more. I'm going to do it where you can see it too. So we're slowly but surely building up the color. All right, now this is the part, y'all bear with me, but this is the part where um, I'm not as confident. But we're going to try it anyway. What we're going to attempt to do now is at the crease, build that up with black. <laughs> with some black. And, um, ay, 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 ay. we're going to use a, the black from the Morph palette, this one right here, 3503, we're going to use the, this black. We're going to be very soft with this black, we're not going to go a hard black, we're just very lightly put some black in there. Okay. I think I'm going to use this one. Yeah, I see it. Uh. Do the other eye the same way. All right, we have the black in. We're going to smoke that out just a little bit. I need to add a little bit more. Once we start smoking it, we smoked it right on out. <laughs> I'm going to add just a little bit more of that black. I 
I like the look. We're nowhere, we're nowhere near finished, but I like what I'm seeing so far. Again, we're going to blend that in so gently. <clears throat> now I think I'm going to put just a little bit more green back in there. Hmm. Okay. Alright, now we're just going to clean up again around the outside, keep everything nice and neat, over here as well. Going to blend that in just a little bit more. Now I think what I want to do is go back in the center and build up the frost look. But I think before I do that, I'm just going to put just a little bit, just a little hint. little hint of white Now we're going to put a little frost on top of that. At this point, I think it's just best that we press the color on. And I just might need to dampen my brush just a little bit. I might need to do that. Let's see. All right, getting a little bit of fallout, but that's expected. Now, just for a little bit more pizzazz on our waterline, we have a lot of fallout there, don't we?
I'm trying to clean up around the eyes just a little bit before we go on and do the waterline. Okay. On our waterline, I'm going to hit it with this green. Yeah, we're, we're doing a green eye today. <laughs> Alright, here we go. This goes on so nice and smooth. Oh, I didn't even tell you what I'm using. <laughs> Sorry. This actually is Wet and Wow. You see it? I came across these in the store, in, in my drugstore, in the last uh, video, a couple of videos back when I did a Beauty on a Budget. It was in my drugstore. And I got this color, I got the blue, and it's so creamy and goes on so nice and smooth. I was like, wow, okay, wet and wild. I see you doing it. So I, I picked it up and now we're using it today. I, I really like it. So we're doing this on our waterline. Then we're going to follow that up. We're going to let that set for a little bit. Then we're going to follow that up with a little bit of black. Now, if I was really brave, I'd say, oh, we'll do a little white on there. <laughs> can you imagine? Let's see if we can put a little, let's see if we can put a little white on there and see what it does. Just a little bit. Oh, my gosh. I'll do just a little bit of white. Too bad. <laughs> we we put a little bit. We didn't we didn't go outrageous. We put just a little bit. All right. So now the other part of the eye. Now, this is a part I'm supposed to do. I don't know if I want to do it. I am actually supposed to line this part of my eye and then begin to build up with some more color. I don't know if I really want to do all that. That's just not me, but, you know, am I doing this for me or am I doing it for, for us? <laughs> all right, let's blend this out. Now I am going to <clears throat> line the eyes, clean this up just a little bit. We're going to line the eyes with some black. Okay, I'm going to do this side, same thing. It's beautiful. Okay. Now 
normally I would have used the pencil for this, but I was like, oh, I got the liner out. Let me go ahead and just do this real quick. I may follow back up. I may follow back up with a pencil on the bottom, but. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Um. What other color do we want to bring into the equation here? I'll make this frost pop just a little bit more in the center. Ah. And now I'm using that frost from the Morph palette. This one right here. It's just giving me just a little bit more life. Same thing for this eye. 